Do you see what I see? That is a chicken that learned how to escape from its chicken coop. I don't know how it's doing it, but that little chicken right there, we're gonna have to catch it before it becomes chicken nuggets. Anyway, good morning, Saxon family. How you guys all doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. You got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. Welcome back to the daily vlog. If you're not yet subscribed and a part of the number one family here on the internet, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and never miss out any videos that I post here on my channel. Uh, guys, thank you. Vlog number 50 in a row. I want to thank everybody that's been watching here on the daily basis. I really do appreciate it. I wanted, like, you know, go all out and do something special. And I realized, I was like, you know what? Me doing something special is just me being myself for you guys. And that's the thing I realized that I've talked about recently. It's just being the authentic me, which is more important than trying to do something stupid besides catching a chicken to start off the vlog. Here we go. We're going to uh, go on a chicken hunt. You dogs stay there. All right, ready? Here we go. We're gonna get you the chicken one-handed. One-handed kitchen check and catch. Oh, 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 oh. I've already failed the mission. Here we go, attempt number two. We're gonna get it in that corner, and then we're gonna catch him with one hand and one hand only. Let's, ha <laughs> ha, gotcha. Mission successful, guys. We caught the chicken. I don't know how he keeps getting out, but go ahead, young chicken, fly. To be honest with all of you guys, that was pretty hard to catch a chicken one-handed, but hey, I did it. So I have some good news today. It is actually July 1st as I'm recording this video, which means this vlog's probably going to be going out later because it's a current day filmed vlog. But with that being said, the good news of this vlog is, oh my god, all these dogs are barking. It's, just, it's making vlogging impossible today. But today's July 1st, which means in one, two, three, four, I can count. See, I can count. In four days, I'll be turning 23 on July 5th. If you guys want to wish me some early happy birthdays down below in the comment section, go ahead. You guys don't have to do it. But yeah, I'm trying to think uh, what I'm going to do for my birthday this year. I'm going to go visit my neighbor, Mike, because I think he's having a fire in the backyard. And uh, I, could, I could just smell the smoke. You're a good dog, right, Brutus? I'm so happy to see you today. I'm happy that you're not attacking me. Oh, whoa, yo, you got moves, man. Mike, your dog should go to the NFL. He's got some moves. Mike, every time I see you, you tend to have a beer in your hand. Is that like all you do is drink? Yes, love it. Really? Yes. Okay, well, I got another question for you. Is it because it's 4th of July weekend that you're drinking this much? Yes. Yes? And no. And no. All right. That, uh, well, all right, there was this one time I got home at like 3 in the morning. Mike's garage door was open. It's like, Jeff, come over to the bar, have a beer. I may have had a beer at 3 in the morning, but geez, Mike, got a lot of beer. Oh, speaking of that, you're coming to the big party this weekend, right? Oh, yes, sir. All right, good. Good news is, well, we're going to probably have a keg, but on top of that, there's a lot of uh, hard liquor in the garage ready for you and everybody else. <laughs> I don't mess with hard liquor. You don't? Give me the beer. Give me the beer. It's fine. Well, the beer's gone, Mike. I'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll just sit here around the fire. You'll drink a cold beer, and uh, we'll try figuring this out. He clearly drank the rest of that that quick. What are we doing right now, neighbor Mike? Throwing some more wood on the fire. More wood on the fire? Brutus, why are you attacking me now? All right, here, I, I can carry this piece. Give me, Just give me that. And I whoa, this piece is already warm. I, I think I can carry one more piece. Uh, yeah, I got that. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah. What a fail. So you lied. I tried. Right. I attempted to, and I failed. Listen, I'll do you a good favor. I'm just going to go throw this on your fire and make it bigger for you, and then boom, it's going to be good. Uh, we're just going to place that right there. Problem solved. How about that? You just ruined it. I didn't ruin it. I just put it in the fire pit, so it ends up, you know, making more fire for you. Right now, Mike, you got more smoke than fire, though, which is a problem. Give it a second. Give it, Mike, there's a lot of smoke and not a lot of fire. Mike, save the caterpillar. You mm. got it. You got to save him. Wait, what did you do? Uh, I threw him in the embers. No, that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to save him. Why? Because it's it's going to turn into a butterfly, Mike. That's like a you. Loser. No, he's not a loser. He's a loser. He had purpose in life, Mike. If he was and he a just... winner, why is he burnt? Because you threw him in there, Mike. So I've been hanging out with Mike for a little bit right now. There's just been some stuff off log. And he was telling me a story about, what was it, your great-grandfather? Great grandfather. Great grandfather yep. who's a firefighter in Toledo, Ohio, who uh, back in 1943 passed away from a result of uh, pneumonia from breathing in all the smoke from a house fire back in the day. And after years of his family trying to get his uh, great grandfather's uh, death ruled as a line of duty death, 
it finally happened. They gave him some uh, pretty interesting stuff. You want to show it, Mike? Yeah, so we got, we got this. Here he is right here. What's that say? Uh, Lieutenant Charles Morsey, appointed January 1st, 1925, died in the line of duty April 21st, 1944. Uh, Lieutenant Mor Morsey died of pneumonia con contracted as, as, uh, as a result of fighting a house fire in November 1943. Yeah, and they gave him wow. this cool coin. That's actually, uh... Go ahead, take a look. Pretty cool. If my camera would focus on this, I got to uh, already see it all flawed, guys. But I want you guys to be able to take a look at this. Oh, here we go. It's focusing. So they basically gave, what, everybody in your family one of these, Mike? Yeah. Yep. That is really cool. All my siblings. That right there is a lot of respect right there from the yeah, fire yeah. department of Toledo, Ohio. But, yeah, it's crazy to think it took them, I don't know, 70 years, I would say? About, yeah. About, about 70 years to finally rule his death a line of duty death. For those that don't know, an LODD is um, considered when you die in the action. Let's say like you're in the police or the military or firefighting and you die You die basically doing the job. Uh, that's basically what happened to Mike's great grandfather. And I think it's just crazy. Finally, 70 something years later, they just ruled it in LODD. Well, that was fun visiting Mike. And I just remember some, I remember a few months ago, I clickbaited a video so bad. I said, my neighbor almost fell off the roof and oh boy he never even came close off the roof he always brings that up too he's like remember you had me do that that one time i'm like yes mike i remember that very well but i want to go see what's going on with the family and what everybody's up to today hi puppies all right rex and zeus both you guys in hi willow how are you doing you're being good and you guys right off the bat are gonna just go and play fight with each other. Okay, understandable. Oh, if you thought I was joking before about all the alcohol my parents literally picked up the other day, it's not a joke, it's like, look at all this scotch. Like that right there, I don't know why we need that much scotch, but then we got all this vodka, uh, cranberry, I guess, cause you can make cranberry vodka, and then all this like other flavors of alcohol, and I'm like, Word, you guys got a bunch of alcohol, but literally, my birthday's in a few days, and my parents didn't even get me, like, my favorite kind of uh, drink to have. I mean, I, I had to put the big boy in here, the Jack Daniels, to basically get nice and frozen cold. But, yeah, I, uh, I was not joking about that. My family literally got a lot of alcohol for this party, which is going to be insane, and I can't wait for that party vlog to come out next week. Oh, I was gonna try scaring you. Did you hear me come in? Yeah. But how? But like you had the water on and the TV. Like I didn't think you would realize that I was coming inside. I heard you. You did? Mm -hmm. And what? then I noticed that the light was on. And I'm like, hmm. Wait, the light was already on though. But I saw your shadow. Oh, my shadow literally gave it away. I was gonna scare you, mom. I, I, I did scare her yesterday off vlog and it was so great. I just wish I had it on video. You suck, Mom. Sorry. Uh, I hate to break it to you, but... You're, you're a party pooper, I get it. Because you didn't even get Jack Daniels with all that alcohol in the garage. Literally, Mom, that's a party foul. I'm not going to lie, that's, that's a major party foul in my book. Daria, tell me about your day today. Oh, what's wrong? You had a bad day at the ice rink? I get it. You know, being a pro hockey player is so hard. Working at the rink, you know, with the Devils and all that. Hey, how do you think the signing of Wayne Simmons went, though, today? Pretty good? Get away. All right, I love you too, Daria. Man, she's such a pain. The other day, seals my camera on the vlog, and now today, doesn't even want to be on the vlog. I see how it is, Dara. I had a rough day at the ice rink. How rough can it be working at an ice hockey rink, you know, like where I'd spend most of my time when I was younger just playing hockey guys so that's gonna wrap it up for the vlog today i hope you guys all had a fantastic day you had a smile on your face and you just enjoyed today today i don't know i felt like it was mostly a lazy day throughout the day until i finally decided to pick up the camera and start the vlog uh but i want to know what you guys did today let me know down below in the comment section i'm gonna be going through harding as many comments as possible i'm also gonna be reading them and i might be replying to some of your comments as well i, I want to know what you guys did today and I, I just hope you guys had a fantastic day. And just know if you had a bad day today, that everything should be better tomorrow. Every day, you're going to be building yourself for a better day and a better day and a better day after that. Uh, that's just some of my, you know, 
Monday motivational advice. I think I might start doing that every Monday, give some motivation in the vlog for you guys. I should actually be doing that every day though. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys had a great day today. I hope you kept that smile on your face. Remember, sex family, I love you guys. Until next time, it's been your boy Jeff, keeping it real. I'm gonna log out. I'm gonna peace out and well, peace.